Once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online Class for Kids. And in this video, I'll be showing us how to cut Danshiki. Now, we're working for a seven year, two months old. He's seven years, two months old. And I'm working with one and a half yard by 45. One and a half yard by 45. Now, these are the measurements. The shoulder is 13, the sleeve is 5, the round sleeve is 12, the Danshiki length is 22, the neck is 12, and the chest is 28. Now, one thing about Danshiki is that unlike a normal senator top or etibor, you, you can sew those ones fitted, but in Danshiki, they are very, very free. For example, if the round sleeve is 12, you can make this person round sleeve 14 because that is the beauty of Danshiki. Though some persons want it to be very fit, but in Danshiki sewing, they are free. So if the person's chest is 28, you can use 30 and it works perfectly well. Alright, with these measurements, now, this is the fabric I'll be working with. I've already done the folding, but I'll use this to show us how to fold. I'll use this to show us how to fold. Now, assuming that this is the fabric you want to work with. Now, this part represents the one and a half yard. That is the longest part. And this part represents the 45 inch. Take note, this is the longest part and this is the shortest part of our fabric. So this is one and a half yard and this is by 45. So the very first thing you need to do, you fold as shown. Watch carefully. You fold as shown. Make it from this down. Fold this down. Step one. Then step two, you fold this this way. Making sure that this opening is facing this point. So that is what I'm, I just did on this fabric now. Let's recap. This is the widest, this is the longest part, this is the shortest part. Down, then down. So having this at the back of our mind, we're now going to our fabric to do the measurements. All right, so this is the fabric. This is what we've just done, the folding. So automatically, this part represents our shoulder part. This here will be my shoulder point, And this point here will be the neck. That is the middle. All right, now, from this point, remember, we said the shoulder is 13. So half of 13 from this point, you're marking from this point. The shoulder, we said, is 13. So half of 13 will be six and a half inch. And take note, in cutting Danshiki, the sleeve and the shoulder are together. Unlike your senator top that you cut the sleeve separately. But in this case, the sleeve and the shoulder are together. All right, so from this point, we said our shoulder is 13. So half of, because it's on full, this is on full. So half of 13 is six and a half inch mark. Now, from this point, remember our sleeve is five inch so from this point i'm adding five inch from this point here from this point here as you can see i'm adding five inch now i'll be adding one inch sewing allowance okay <clears throat> so that'll be one inch sewing allowance all right so we are through with remember from this point to this point the shoulder point then from here to the point is the sleeve we said you sew them together then this is the folding allowance now from this point, from this point down, I'll be taking, from this point down, I'll be taking our, um, alright, so from this point down, I'll be taking our round sleeve, take note, from this point down, remember our round sleeve here is 12, so from this point, you take your round sleeve, which is 12, and I'm adding sewing allowance, which is 1 inch or 1 and half inch. So this point here, now, mark this point down, take this point down. Now the chest, remember the person's chest here is 28, but I want to use 30. Remember the person's chest here is 28, but I'll be using 30. So 28 divided by 2 gives you 14. Sorry, I'll be using 30, I want it to be very free on the person. So 30 divided by 2 gives you 15. So from this point, I'm marking Alright, the next, sorry, I made a mistake in the chest. Remember, we said the chest is 30, we are using 30. And this fabric is folded into two. So you divide 30 into four places. So we'll be having seven and a half. Then I'm adding two inch sewing allowance, so I have this. So 
from this is the chest point this is the chest point take note now remember that your armhole the armhole so the round sleeve was six then we added one and a half inch so you're connecting this point down to this point as you can see take note from here to here was the shoulder here to here was the sleeve then from this point to this point was the round sleeve then i added one and a half inch then from this point you mark your chest was your same allowance then you connect this point down so at this stage we are now through with the cutting of the tanshiki it is as easy as this so we now want to cut watch carefully as i cut all right so this is our tanshiki now the body length take note remember the body length is 22 the body length of the tanshiki is 22 so from this point from this point, this is 22 as you can see, then I'm adding two insulin allowance, so that is all about Danshiki. Now, if you should open this, you can see, that is all about Danshiki. Now, remember that you put a notch here at the middle point that is closed, this take note, this middle point, you put a notch, this point here, this point here, you put a notch. So you now take it to where you do the embroidery. Now, remember, you just tell the person that will do the embroidery that the person's neck is 13. If it's 16, you tell the person that the person's neck is 16. So this is the point where they will do the embroidery for the neck. Dan Shiki, there is also two pockets here. There is one here, there is one here, and there is design here, which they will do. So this is all about cutting off Dan Shiki. So, when they are through with the embroidery, we will not do the sewing. So this is all about the cutting of the chicken. Once again, you're still watching PJ Collection clothing, and we're still making our tanshiki. Remember, this is what we made. This is the one we did the cutting. If you take a look, but during the embroidery, we did this on the black. So as you can see, we've done the embroidery. I told us that when you're true with your, when you're true with your cutting, you put a notch at the center here, and you tell the person to make the embroidery that the person's neck is 13 or 12 if it is 16 tell the person so they know what to do i don't do embroidery so these are people who are specialized on this both than shiki but anything that has to do with embroidery all right so this is what i'll be making okay so this is it so to make that shiki it is very easy this is a, a sleeve part and this is the body so the very first thing we need to do remember while we are cutting we added one and a half inch sewing allowance or one inch. So the sleeve want to begin. And when you're through, you weave the this thing around. So we now want to start the sewing proper. Step one, let's start with the sleeve. Remember, we added this is sleeve region. This, and this is the wrong side. Remember, we added one and a half inch sewing allowance. So you fold this in. You fold this in, one and a half inch, and you sew. You sew this. Then you go over to the next second sleeve as well. Still one and a half inch. Remember, I added one and a half inch. Then you fold. You just fold out the allowance that you added. Then you sew this. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm through with the folding at this part. Now the next thing I want to do, now I want to join now. I want to start the joining. Now remember, this is sleeve region. So you close it and show the sleeve point. The clothes that I showed. Now remember that the person's round sleeve you're working with is 13. So at this point, you mark six and a half. So you're joining this sleeve down to the body, joining along with the body. Remember, we said the making dan shiki it can be as wide, very big, 
unlike a normal signature top. So I'm showing six and a half. So that is six and a half. Maybe six and a half. That is 13. Showing this down in the body. Holding this down. Holding this. You sew it down to the end of the action. Alright, so move back to the next sleeve. Now let's do that to the next sleeve. Alright, remember the sleeve, the round sleeve is 13, so that is 6 and a half. That is six and a half as you can see. The person's chest I'm working here is take note. The chest here is 32. The, the main measurement, the actual chest measurement for this person is 28. But in the course of this time sheet, they are missing 32, like you said. Shouldn't be that heated. So this down. Alright, so we're through joining both sides. So the next thing we'll be joining is we are to take note of the top length. So we we'll first of all fold to know the top length. So alright, when you're through joining both sides, the next thing you need to take is the top length. Now the person's top length is 23. Take note the top length is 23. So I'll be marking You'll be folding exactly at 23 round. So let, let me iron this for easy. Remember, there is no slit in that dashito. So I just folded this round. Just use my hand to fold this round. Okay. So let's confirm the top length. Make sure it is properly stretched. Okay. 23. That is the top length. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be sewing this part that I've just folded. This part that I've folded. So I'll be sewing this round. You sew this round. So let's do that now. Alright, so at this stage I'm through sewing this down part round. So I'll take this to the front. We are almost through with our down shaking. Okay? So our down shaking is almost ready. So this is how to go about making that shit is as easy as this. Okay, so this is how to make that shiki. Alright, the final and the last thing we need to do. Now if you take a look at the neck region, now let me turn this side and see properly well. If you take a look at the neck region, it's open. There are some persons that love it to be this way, but in my own case, now you get a piece of fabric, like you double it, like you get a piece of fabric as shown, then you double this. Okay, you're not seeing clearly. Let me get on that fabric. Okay, let me use this because the black is not that showing well. You get a piece of fabric and you fold as shown, you fold to the wrong side, then you now sew this way, sew this curve, something of this sort. And you now turn it. If you don't do this, you can weave it. You do the same thing and you weave it, just have done with this black. What I did was I folded this and I weaved round. So that is what I did there. So now, if I don't want this point to be open, so what I do is this now, the keeping this facing you, the left point, you put this, watch carefully, and you now place this under. You place this under to your left. Just the left part alone. Take note, you place this under in your left part and you top you sew at this point, sew this point. Remember this will be under. The reason why you're doing this is because this is where you put your press button. This is where you put your press button. But if you don't want to use press button, you can leave it this way. But in a situation whereby you want to put press button, you put this under shown, making sure that this is a is showing at least one inch. As you can see, one inch here. So that is where you put your you put your press button at this point. So you now sew from here, and you stop somewhere here to hold this in place. So let's do that now. All right. So I'm through sewing. As you can see, 
I'm through sewing this. So the next thing we need to do, I want to put my press button. So to do this, you pick up your press button and you put one at it down. I want to fix my press button. So this is the first one there. So you start from the down. I'm fixing my press button. So you put as many times as possible once it is tight. I'm trying to fix the second press button. Alright, so I'm through fixing the button, so you press this down, as you can see. Alright, so this is how to make a simple <coughs> dark chicken top, so I want to do the ironing now. Once again, remember you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online Class for Kids.